In the bustling streets of New York City, Spider-Man, the friendly neighborhood web-slinger, swung through the air, his mind filled with introspective thoughts. As he surveyed the city below, his keen senses picked up on an unusual sight, a van hurtling through the streets pursued by a determined police car. Intrigued, Spider-Man decided to intervene. With swift agility, he swooped down and landed near the van, just as one of the crooks inside aimed a small pistol at the police. In a split second, Spider-Man effortlessly plucked the criminal from the vehicle and secured him to a sturdy web in the middle of the street. Springing through the van's window, Spider-Man swiftly attacked the second criminal with a well-placed kick. He also slammed on the truck's brakes, causing the thug to collide with the window and lose consciousness. The timely arrival of the police meant that Spider-Man had saved the day. However, instead of receiving gratitude, Spider-Man found himself facing suspicion. The police instructed him to exit the van and freeze. He complied, raising his hands, but surprised them all by shooting webs and making a swift escape into the cityscape. Continuing his vigilant patrol, Spider-Man noticed an unusual surge of energy emanating from a specific location. Swinging towards the source, he followed the trail to an abandoned warehouse. Stealthily infiltrating the building, he discovered a room where a strange device emitted bursts of energy from the ground. Spider-Man deduced that the mastermind behind it all could only be Mysterio. Just then, his spider sense tingled, warning him of imminent danger. Mysterio materialized behind him, wielding a metal pipe with malicious intent. Reacting swiftly, Spider-Man shielded himself by using Mysterio's own helmet and countered with a powerful kick, sending the villain sprawling to the ground. Frustrated and disoriented, Mysterio began to shout in disbelief. Determined not to let Mysterio escalate the situation, Spider-Man swiftly webbed up the desk, preventing him from retrieving a gun. He then ensnared Mysterio with a well-aimed web, yanking him back and delivering a solid blow to his stomach. Mysterio, trapped and desperate, resorted to threats, mentioning Spider-Man's previous demise. Eager to uncover what was really going on, Spider-Man returned to the device generating the energy bursts, demanding answers from Mysterio. However, with one arm free, Mysterio managed to reach for a gun and fired a shot at Spider-Man. Guided by his ever-alert Spider-Sense, the web-slinger narrowly avoided the bullet, which instead struck the device. The impact triggered a massive disturbance, resulting in an overwhelming surge of energy that affected only Spider-Man. When he regained consciousness, Spider-Man found himself teleported to a different version of New York, Earth-1610 to be exact. As he glanced around, he noticed an unfamiliar structure looming on the coast, the Triskelion, the island headquarters of S.H.I.E.L.D. Determined to return to the warehouse and unravel this mystery, he swung through the city, but instead arrived at a woman's home where he was not welcome. But he shrugged it off by stating that at least she talked to him, which was a step up from the last woman that he met. Confused by the inexplicable turn of events, Spider-Man took to the skies once more, contemplating his next move. In the midst of his thoughts, he encountered a peculiar figure swiftly gliding alongside him. The two landed on the same rooftop, and to Spider-Man's astonishment, he came face to face with Miles Morales, the Spider-Man of this alternate Earth. For Peter, the shock of meeting another Spider-Man quickly gave way to mistrust as he shot first, launching a web at Miles. With his years of experience, Peter initially had the upper hand against Miles. However, the tide quickly turned when Miles unleashed his unique abilities. In a surprising move, Miles struck Peter with his venom sting, momentarily incapacitating him. Taking advantage of the situation, Miles attempted to unmask Peter. Before he could remove the mask, Peter kicked Miles off of the rooftop, saying that unmasking is a big superhero no-no. As they fought down the side of the building, Miles employed his invisibility to get the drop on Peter. As they were both falling, Miles hit a web, and while his guard was down, Peter shot a web unmasking Miles which, as he had said, was a big no-no. Miles suddenly shocked the web that they were standing on, which broke, leaving an unconscious Peter falling to the street below. Instinctively, Miles caught him and flung him onto a nearby rooftop, saving him from his fall. Defeated and disoriented, Peter later found himself in the custody of S.H.I.E.L.D. He woke in a specially designed cell face to face with the enigmatic Ultimate Nick Fury. Peter recounted his extraordinary story of hailing from a parallel world that was similar yet different to this one. To his surprise, Fury believed him, recognizing the sincerity in Peter's words. 
Fury explained that the sheer intricacy of Peter's narrative convinced him that it couldn't possibly be a lie. As the discussion progressed, Fury instructed Miles to fill Peter in on the details of this alternate world. Both Spider-Men boarded a helicopter, and during the journey, Peter's curiosity led him to inquire about the Peter of this world's fate. However, their conversation was abruptly interrupted when they came under attack from one of Mysterio's formidable avatars, poised to assault the two Spider-Men. Caught off guard, Peter and Miles quickly regained their focus to fight against this new threat. With their distinct powers and abilities, they engaged in a fierce aerial battle against Mysterio's avatar. The clash of webs, acrobatics, and determination filled the skies as the Spider-Men strove to overcome their new common enemy.